Hello, this is a wonderful day to be with you for our five-minute seminar. Uh, I just enjoy these times together with you, and I uh, trust that this time will be exciting and bring a fresh revelation to your heart. Now, we're going to have a look at one particular verse. Uh, it's Romans 6, verse 6. It's an amazing verse, because what it says is that our old self was crucified with Christ. When Jesus died on the cross, not only did he die for our sins, but he died for our old self. The old self, which were, when we were sort of like a factory that produced sin, that factory was put to death on the cross with Jesus, so that he took out the power of sin. Not only did he take our sin and give us forgiveness of sin uh, from our sins, but he also... He took out the power of sin in our lives so that we could now live in the power of the Holy Spirit in a life that's pleasing to God. Now, we teach our students there are two things that you need particularly to look for to understand Scripture. The first one is you always read a Scripture in its context. And secondly, you always look at what tense it is, because some things are in future tense. Some things are mentioned which are past tense. Some things are mentioned in present tense. But in this scripture of Romans 6.6, 6, notice the tense. It says past tense. That means that in the past, when Jesus died on the cross over 2,000 years ago, our old self was crucified in him. Now then we begin to look at this whole question, what is the old self? And we examined this and we found that it really means three things. First of all, the old self is what we inherit when we come into this world. We're born into this world with the DNA of Adam. And in that DNA, we are born with a strong pull towards sin. The second uh, thing that, it, uh, that the old self is, is that when we live in our life, we're continually sinning in different dimensions, and many times uh, we go through our life and actually we're growing in our sin. Sometimes we've got a lot of education, so we become more educated sinners. But that sin continues there, so it's not only what I inherited from Adam, but it's also what I do myself. I must be responsible for that sin. So that's the second thing. The third thing is that it's not only those things which make up the old self, but also it's what other people do against me. The wounds that I receive, the rejections that I receive in my life, the evil spoken against me which produce wounds, the disappointments of life, the disappointments of being sacked from our work, the disappointments of broken relationships, and all of these things. And so we carry and bear burdens and wounds in our life which have been caused by what other people have done to, to us. So when you take these three things... What I received from Adam, what, I do, what I've done myself, and what others have done to me, this makes up what we call the old self, and which Paul, in Romans chapter 7, describes as being the body of death. But what we need to understand is that Jesus died for all of this. So the total of our life has been healed and taken away. It says that, the old has gone and the new has come. If any person be in Christ, he is a new creation. All things are passed away. Behold, all things are become new. We get a totally new beginning. What a wonderful joy this is. You are a person with a totally new beginning for your life. And if you've been dwelling in that old and struggling in that old, then today you can walk free in the name of Jesus. God bless you.